Well, hello everyone. Um, let's begin by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we give this time to God, and wherever we are on our own faith journey, we're all part of God's family. So we open our hearts now to his love and his mercy. A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Philippians. His state was divine, yet Jesus Christ did not cling to his equality with God, but emptied himself to assume the condition of a slave and became as all men are. And being as all men are, he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. But, Christ, but God raised him high and gave him the name which is above all other names, so that all beings in heaven and on earth and in the underworld should bend the knee at the name of Jesus, and that every tongue should acclaim Jesus Christ as Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, we are in Lent, and today I want to talk to you about one of the things that we do during Lent, and is shared by uh, other world faiths as well, which is to give charity, what we call almsgiving, A-L-M-S, giving, almsgiving. And um, if I was there today, which I can't be, I will be getting a volunteer to come up now and I will be uh, handing them some items. A very big collection of toilet rolls, a very big bag of pasta and lots of tins of tomatoes. And I would want them to try and hold them, which is trickier than you think. No. You might think, well, why these items? Well, three years ago, during lockdown, um, people panic bought these items. They were stockpiling tomatoes, tin tomatoes, and stockpiling pasta and toilet roll. And people were being very selfish about these items. But no, these are mine. And, and all sorts of sad things were going on where people just said, no, I need what I need and you can all forget it. So I get somebody holding this, right? And then I said to them, but I want to give you some more things. And I have them here. And what they are, they're different, different gifts. Forgiveness. But the thing is, they're armbands, right? Now, you can't put armbands on if you're trying to hold all of this. So whoever was holding them would have to put all of these down to put the armbands on. And we got, so we've got different ones, things that we like to give people, like forgiveness, and faith, and love, and peace, and joy, and hope, and meaning, and there's another one, and healing. So the idea is, we would have somebody with four sets of armbands on each arm like this. Now the thing is, if you've got all these armbands on here, you certainly won't be able to go like that, you can't hold anything. And you actually make a cross shape. Now, I believe that's the way that we've been made. God's hardwired us in a way that when we share with others, rather than keeping hold of things for ourselves and being selfish, then we experience meaning in our lives. We can share forgiveness and experience forgiveness. Then we can have peace in our lives. We can have joy in our lives. We can have hope in our lives. We can have faith. We can have healing and we can have love. And it shows us who we fully are. So not like this, but like this. So, well, what do we do with all of this? Because we have more than we need. We share. We share what we have. So these items for the food bank. So let's think, how can I share what I have rather than holding on to everything? Because the more we can share and let go, uh, the more we have the great gifts that God wants to give us and will help us live our lives at peace. So almsgiving is an important part of Lent and CAFOD is one of the charities uh, that school supports and when we, pay, when we give some of our money to CAFOD, then we're helping those in need and we're sharing what we have with our resources. So let's have a think about that today. Bye-bye, God bless. <laughs>